was the brightest red engine on the island of Sodor. His bright red paint made him feel very proud, and it made him feel very special. One morning, James was about to puff out of Titmus' sheds. Sir Topham had arrived to see him. James, you are to have a new coat of paint. You must puff straight to the steamworks. James was pleased. Thank you, sir. <laughs> will be the smartest engine on the whole island. James whistled with pride. James puffed proudly into the steamworks. The workmen were waiting. First, they took off James's old coat of red paint. Then, they applied a special pink paint. The pink paint was to go under the red coat. It was to keep the water out. Soon, James was covered from fender to firebox in bright pink paint. Just then, Sir Topham had arrived. My granddaughter is having her birthday party today. Emily was to pick her up at Maithwaite Station, but she has broken down. The other engines are busy. You must collect the children and take them to the party. But, sir, I'm not ready. You're quite ready enough, James. Leave right away. The party starts at tea time. You mustn't be late. Sir Topham had left. James was upset. Oh, no. Pink is a silly color. I don't want anyone to see me looking silly. James puffed up to a junction. Emily was there. She was waiting for the workman. Cinders and ashes. You're bright. Pink, James? Emily laughed and laughed. <laughs> oh, no. Everyone is going to laugh at me because I'm pink. James didn't want to be laughed at. Then an idea flew into his funnel. If I see any other engines on the way to the children, I'll hide. along the track. I don't want Toby to see pink paint. He'll think I'm silly. I'll hide under this tree until he's gone. So, James just under the branches of a willow tree. Toby puffed slowly towards him. James kept as quiet as he could so that Toby wouldn't hear him. Suddenly, James heard a whistle he knew well. It was Gordon. Quickity clack Express on the track! With a whoosh and a whoosh and a whistling wind, thundered down the express line. The branches of the tree flew up in the air. There was James in his bright pink paint. Toby stopped. He was surprised. Fizzling fireboxes, James. You're a big pink engine. <laughs> James felt very silly. He didn't like being laughed at. So, he steamed swiftly away. James puffed on towards me. I mustn't be late for the children. Then James saw Diesel. Oh, no. It's Diesel. He's sure to laugh. I have to hide quickly. James saw some freight cars. They were piled high with coal. James hugged into the siding and hid behind the freight cars. This is a good hiding place. Then Diesel oiled into the siding. Fizzling fenders. Diesel shunted the coal cars. Diesel shunted away the cars that James was hiding behind. So James puffed to the next cars. Diesel those away as well. Quickly, James rolled behind the last two freight cars. Then, he put them away. Oh, no. Diesel was surprised. What are you doing, James? You're a big baby. <laughs> James felt terrible. 
being laughed at by Diesel was worst of all. So James chucked quickly away. James knew he was getting late. He had to pick up the children before tea time. I will take a shortcut through this tunnel. That way, I'm sure to chuck the big plate on top. James bluffed out of the tunnel. Then, he heard a whistle. It's Gordon! Oh no! I don't want Gordon to laugh at my silly pink paint! I have to hide! So, James reached back into the tunnel and waited. Gordon pulled up to the tunnel. He could see steam. Who's hiding in there? Express being through. Come on out. James didn't want to come out. He was sure Gordon would laugh at him. Then Thomas and Percy puffed up. What's happening? Who's in there? I don't know, but the Express can't wait. James knew the engines were waiting for him. And so were the children. If I keep hiding, I'll be late to pick up the children, and they'll be late for their party. So, with a puff and a huff, James chuffed slowly out of the tunnel. He was very unhappy. James, <laughs> you're all <laughs> pink. What a funny color. <laughs> I'd hide too if I was bright pink. James felt terrible. All the engines were laughing, but James knew what he had to do. I feel very silly, but I can't let the children down. James hurried to Mayfair as fast as his distance could walk. James saw Spencer at a junction. Spencer thought James looked very silly. <laughs> oh dear, James. Bright pink really isn't your color. <laughs> James didn't like this. But this time, even though he felt silly, he didn't hide. I mustn't be late for the children. Then James saw Henry passing by. <laughs> My word, you do a thing. But James didn't hide. He felt silly, but he didn't. Must collect the children. Must collect the children. James puffed towards Mayfway. He could see the children waiting. I'm sure the children will laugh too. They will think I look very silly. And he steamed sadly onto the station. James pulled into Mayfway. Sir Topham Hatt's granddaughter didn't. And she didn't think James looked silly at all. She smiled. She was very excited and very happy. James, you're a pink engine. Pink is my favorite color. James couldn't believe it. Do you really like pink? I love pink, and so do all my friends. Look, pink, pink is, is our favorite, favorite color. James was so happy it made his boiler bubble. I'm a very lucky engine. James puffed proudly into the town hall, just in time for the party. The children laughed and clapped, and James, the bright pink engine, was the hero of the day. <laughs>